Hello everybody, it's Dr. Zeno and Justice Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel. We're just in 15 minutes a day well, for your mind, your body, and your and future. future. Alright, so we're just getting all the lighting adjusted there. Alright, so welcome to Sunday. Sunday. Alright, so today with Justice, it's really like all, it's one of those days guys, it's just like a really rainy. It's one of those days where Mom and Titus are asleep together. Yeah, like it's, this is a sleepy Sunday and uh, we just went to the store. So today we're going to talk about um, justice. So when's karate? When's your karate thing? Uh, July from the 16th to the 24th, I think. Tw All right, no, yeah. 20th. Like, so that's the big, that's the big uh, karate tournament. Yeah. So be your third year going. That's your first year as a. A red belt. I mean, a green belt. You went Se as a green yeah, belt. Yeah, second year red. This year, black. All right. So, what changes with the black? So, uh, like, so what are the things you're going to be doing? So, like, there's a lot. There's a lot change when you. There's a lot of change when you go as a black, but I'm not going to necessarily do all that. So you, well, you have a lot of opportunities. Um, you can actually get more um, plat plaques um, if you're a black belt because you, if you win a first and just like. Um, a, like um, the ring where you are, you get to go to like um, in katas. You get to go to um, like the you know how they did like the championships yeah. of all the black belts yeah. that won. You yeah. go there and you uh, that's like from all ages of black nice. belts, except right. from except for the adult. There's no adults. Right. All right, so you do that. So what are the what are the couple things you're going to be doing, and how do you? So what's all the things you're going to be competing in? Um, weapons with right. bow, um, kata, United Fighting Arts Federation for number one, um, um, grappling, um, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, um, and sparring. Nice. All right. So what are you doing leading up? Uh, so when you get ready for this, so now I see you're starting to gear up. So we're about. We're about five weeks out, so I can tell that like you're starting to pick things up. So we all have our different things. So you know when you guys are getting ready for something, I know like if I speak or something, it's like my body relaxes or or it knows it's coming up, but then there's a certain point where like it's it's go time. Like you got to yeah. start preparing and really. So what are you doing different to prepare uh, this year and and to make sure you you hammer it? Um, probably practicing here with my um. With my bow, mm -hmm. and um, and s since we have a hu huge um, um, hall like hall long, so I can I can toss it up pretty high, and that's about like where the uh, ceiling and the tournament's gonna be. Great. So, what's the mindset going into this one versus the other one? You're older now. You're two years older. You got black belt. One year older. Well, from the first year. Oh, from the first year, yeah. So what's so what's the difference? How are you going in there? Well, you already came, but you already been a champion. So what's the? How's that feel coming back to defend? Yeah. I mean, it feel it feels good, really, to just get my like, back. And I mean, like it's every once in a year, so you have a lot of time to practice. And always like so like the first one is, but the first one always the other one after like this one. It, it's gonna be a lot, a lot. Um, it's gonna be a lot more like pr uh, practice and preparation. And I don't know. Always like the second year, the like first to second is always like um, the big practice. Gotcha. So like. Well, you I, got all your stuff yeah. down, right? You ready to go? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So just doing that. So that's great. So we have a huge team that goes out there. Of course, we'll be out there. The crew will be out there. And you guys will be out there. We'll probably do it live if we can. And uh, we'll get it going good. So just a couple things. So when it comes to preparation, like whatever, you, ever, anything big you have in your life, it's always, uh, I mean, preparation is key, right? You just don't, it's, you know, luck's not an option. I mean, nothing's luck. It's just one preparation op opportunity meets. So it's those little things you do behind the scenes. That add up over time. So even though, and, and here's the tricky part though, so this is why I asked him that champion question. You know, when you do win once or twice, it's very easy, like I remember in Rocky 3, like the greatest, one of the greatest lines in Rocky 3, Mick went to Rocky, because Rocky, he was on the top, because the problem with you champions is you become civilized. 
Because what happens is you got first, you got first, so you're not as hungry. You know, sometimes you're not as hungry because you got first. Or like, hey, I did it before, I'll do it again. And, you know, we tend to maybe, you know, lighten up on some of the prep. So now, uh, but that's why you just go in and you compete against yourself. So that stops and try, just try to be the best you can. Because every time you let up, you just never know. There's someone else training just as hard or for you. And the market really doesn't, you know, the market's uh, unforgiving on that one, unfortunately. So uh, what are you doing different to train harder than you did those last two years? I, I think practicing at home. Right. Yeah, I think practicing at home um, because um, dad dad told me like it was like a bunch like we have a higher ceiling than um, Mr. Prado's, so um, I just practice tosses and catches here mostly so I get them down really good, so I can go to um, the Mr. Prado's and um, like do the flip really good because I practice gotcha. here. How about how about sparring and jujitsu? Oh, we practice. We practice that in class normally. We always practice jujitsu and we always practice sparring. All right, so you get that eye of the tiger going. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> so tell me that last time, like in sparring. Um, oh, that's. Uh, it was a little painful, right? Well, you were not. You were lost. like like. Well, you you didn't lose. Somebody made me apologize. Yes, you had to. Yes. Well, the reason why is because. You want to get you, you fought your friend. Yeah, it was not my fault they put me up against. Him. Yeah, but the thing is, like in competition, your friend though it was tough because here was a friend, and you had to actually go against your friend, so it was tough it's to really. Yeah, I, I don't blame you. I think I think that was great, man. I think that was exactly you know that is a tough thing. You know, you go against your friend, mm. right? But then you didn't like getting, you know, mm. you didn't go all out. So this time. Yeah, against my other friend. I know, you had to go against your friends, so... But uh, now I don't care about that. Well, you just didn't like the feeling of that. Yeah. You know, so, so just love on him after after the tournament. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for Sunday. Let me see if we have any uh, questions here across Grandma's on. Hey, Jen Kaufman. Uh, oh, Dean, hey, well, Dean's there. Dean, I think he had said a question a, a while back. Justice, what is something that someone, that you have done that someone has told you it wasn't impossible for you to do. You know what I mean? Like, were you ever told mm -hmm. that you couldn't do something, you actually did it? Um, hmm, I'm trying to think of one. Or something that, you know, you you, you, would, you thought just someone at your age couldn't do. Or, you know, like, have you ever been, have you ever done something or, or been told you couldn't do something and did it anyway and went ahead and did it? Hmm. Um, I mean... I, I don't really know. I mean, like, I don't... I've never really felt like I was in that situation. That's pretty good, man. You know, and... You know, like, your age or anything like that. No, I mean, that was a good question, because sometimes, mm. you know, when we grow up, people say you can't do that or that. You can't do this. You can't be that. For whatever reasons. And yeah. we tend to believe the lie. So I just want to know if there was everything you felt that you wanted to do and someone told you you couldn't? Um, no. Not really. Well, there you go. I mean, that's where it's at, you know? Yeah. That's, uh, yeah, Dean, see, I do have a good memory, Dean. I didn't look that up, so you knew. You knew. I knew. <laughs> I, knew that. I always remember anything. Like, Dean says, good memory. Well, like, then as my patients ask, you know why? I'll tell you why, Dean. The reason why my patients, like, how do you remember everybody's name or I remember the question Dean asked? And it comes down to one thing. You know what it is? What? Because we care. It all comes to that. Like, if I care, I remember the conversation. If I, I remember your name. It's like, it's not, it's not elephant. Like, we don't have elephant memory. It's just we really care. So if someone like, well, if I forget things, that means I don't care. Well, no, it doesn't mean you don't care, but, like, I really care. You know, so we remember these things. So uh, I appreciate you uh, uh, remembering that I remembered. All right, so, yeah, so Justice really did it, and I, I really think um, part of the parenting on that was uh, Woody and I made sure that Justice... Uh, you know, tries things and could do what he wanted. And the Mr. Prater is really good, right? About about confidence building and but working hard. It's not yeah. it's not just affirmations. You got to put the work behind it. So mm -hmm. that was a good question, man. Yeah, so uh, was... at ten years old, he really you know you set out whatever you want to do, you give it a try, and that's our job as parents is to give him a, a buffet of life experiences so he can really say yes, I like that or no, I don't like that. Are you gonna do gymnastics this year? 
Yeah, I think I I, I just want to work on like, you know, I am. On Vegas, you're gonna do Vegas and then. Yeah. Well, like I don't I don't really know, but I am. Okay. Sounds good. All right, guys, have a blessed Sunday. We'll see you tomorrow, Monday. And what I'm going to start doing tomorrow is I'll start touching on, if you have not gone to IamHero.com, make sure you go to IamHero.com, sign up for the one month to win. I'm going to start going through those modules with you. Uh, we'll do it live together, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and that over the next month on, you know, principles of winning. God bless. Bye. And we'll see you soon. See you. Bye-bye.